Welcome back to Terra Firmograph, Season 6, Episode 48 with me, Sid. And, uh, I, I am, uh, making some dough, because I need to make some more sandwiches to, uh, continue my, my mission to conquer this world. Um, and I, I am considering some more changes to the pack. Um, so let me just... Let's get this lot going first. Um, I need a bucket. Mm, I might as well just go and do this um, out of straight out of the water. I don't think there's enough in that barrel anyway. Uh, do, 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 come ah, ah, thank you. So I have a slight problem right now, and that is that, in my opinion. A lot of the progression in this pack has been nerfed too much. Now, case in point is enchanting. Enchanting has never been a part of vanilla terra firma craft um, because it was always impossible in vanilla terra firma craft to achieve obsidian. Obsidian is not a thing you can get in a 1.7 vanilla TFC world so in previous packs enchanting was available because we had obsidian now there are limitations still um, books are particularly hard to make there are no villagers to raid so there's that aspect of things and Certainly in vanilla TFC, if you used your levels, you were using your hit points because levels increased your um, relative strength. Uh, on top of that experience, actually in vanilla TFC, it would probably, at 1.7, it wasn't too bad. But um, certainly in the 112 pack, certainly like this, where combat is quite literally deadly um but not so much so my, my thoughts were along the lines of well enchanting is actually not bad because obsidian is hard to get in this pack but not impossible and levels are quite difficult to get but not impossible and it would obviously be great to be able to enchant your tools with breaking and you know efficiency and speed and stuff especially when you've got nice magical tools you can play with and all of that stuff so that was my thoughts but um the pack author for reasons known only to the cells um decided that you had to have red steel and exquisite barrels to make an enchanting table. Now, I've been funny, but by the time I've achieved red steel in Terra Firma Craft, I'm pretty end game as it already is. Um, you know, there are other things. There's an infernal enchanter from Better With Mods, but you ain't getting that because you need an enchanting table. There's a manor enchanter from Britannia, but, well, that's not either unlocked or is not capable of showing you the recipe. So I think between this episode and next episode, I am going to re-enable the vanilla recipe for an enchantment table. Because it's two diamonds, which are quite rare. I've got them, which is quite rare. <laughs> it's a book, which is awkward to make. That's, let's be honest, it's a book and quill, which is going to require me to make some uh, black dye, ink sack or charcoal bar, we've got feathers and we've got a book, books require paper and paper is a knife with sugar cane yeah we, we, we got some issues there then um, because I don't think there's any other trickery that we can use to make a book so yeah we're going to have to get sugar cane we're nowhere near being able to do it but I'm going to re-enable the um, recipe basically I'm going to need to find sugar cane recipes and get them get them uh, available 
So I ran out of food, so I'm sorting that one out at the moment, as you can tell. And I have done a little bit of uh, things. I also forgot a normalize a a normalization session with my sheep, so I do need to go and rectify that before we go off and continue what I was doing, which was getting coal. Um, because if I'm going to go down the immersive engineering route and get the blast furnace this episode, which is my plan or one of my plans um, we're going to want to be able to make cold coke uh, because blast furnace is largely useless without cold coke so that's the thing but um, let me finish this off we'll go over and normalize or familiarize I should not normalize what the hell am I talking about the sheep and uh, and then we'll continue on and I'll show you what I've been up to over at the the lignite quarry uh, because it's definitely a quarry it's not a it's not a mine this one this is um open to the sky so yeah i'll be back in a second all right the bread is finished i haven't made the sandwiches yet but i want to go and do the sheeps as first i've also um just so you know i have uh dug this through so we can continue on with the uh the castle approach at some point which is which is going to be good it's lovely seeing the snow gone to be honest now, you, and you, um, so you probably lost them, I think you are about locked in, but I think I go, should go gold once I'm locked in, but let me just go and double check on a, an already familiarised critter, nope, it's locked in at red, okay, that's fine, it used to be gold. There you go, so he's already locked in, I only need to get the, the other sheep. Uh, maybe encourage them to mack at the baby. Oh, more, more trees have, have sprouted. Excellent. So good news. Uh, what is the uh, temperature currently? Da -da -da. Average current temperature is 3.8. I still think we need to get a bit warmer before I start um, planting. I probably need to take those trees out as well. But that is not what I'm here to do right now. What we are here to do right now is get ourselves set up to make my, my sandwiches. Now there's going to be a mix this time because I, I didn't have exact quantities of all the things. But that's good because it alters the, the makeup of the sandwiches. So we're definitely putting... 12 cheese in. I've got five apples, seven beetroots, and then the rest is protein. So I should be good. Should be good. Bear jerky. I think that's bear jerky. Yeah, bear jerky. That's going to be one hell of a tough sandwich. <laughs> um, let's pop those in. And oh, bum! I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well I screwed up there then, didn't I? Uh, uh, it'll, it'll will live. So, I've just got some which don't have much of anything in. <laughs> oh well. Um, veg, you can go back in there. Meat, you can go back in there. We shall pop those in. Now you are... Grain and dairy, so that's just a cheese sandwich. <laughs> that is grain, dairy and protein, so that's a cheese and meat sandwich, and that's a cheese, meat and fruit sandwich. Damn it. Alright, let's get um, these in the in the store, and we can, uh, we can get on. Right, I'm off to the coal mines, so in fact I'm going to put my house, you're going to put a thing there because the nearest one is the ores galore and I need to um, need to be able to go straight there really so it's over there I'll be back in a second once I've walked over there right I've stripped most of the grass off of the top of this it makes this a lot easier to do and I am also utilizing the the shape of this to get some smooth blocks because I'm going to want I might as well you know they're 
they're always useful and seeing as I'm stripping this down I'm going to mine every piece of rock out of it anyway it kind of makes sense to me to do it this way um, take you out do 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 and you out yeah and then we just keep taking it down layer by layer until we have what we want which is mainly going to be coal but also at the same time we're doing that a whole bunch of smooth stone which is win-win um take this one out here I think and then we can go on so this is it's slow going and this is why I kind of think the enchant element of um, of Minecraft would really does need to be unlocked again because if this were a technical pack so this was supposed to be just terra firma craft with technical mods then you could argue that enchanting and magic and all of that kind of stuff just doesn't fit but this is not a technical pack I mean we've got electro blobs wizardry in it so it's clearly a magical pack um, we've got thorncraft in it we've got well, Britannia I added so I can't really say that Britannia but you know there is magic in it <laughs> so I just think I don't know, I just think I think the mod pack author has something against enchanting. It's the only thing I can think of. Anyway, back once I've got some more coal. Alright, it's another morning and uh, I really do need to start making up for my errors that oops, hello, what we got? You are the fruity ones. You are Alright, we'll just have a a cheese sandwich <laughs> we'll get soon get these down and uh, that error will never have happened let's head over now I have got three stacks of coal and a bit um, and I say stack it that's obviously a terraform craft stack and we you are familiarized you are not familiarized fully but it doesn't matter there you go and there you go now you've got the oh hello 112 days no time these are shearable as well so I do need to look at getting my shears my shear on at some point really does not today not right now let's head over here to the coke oven um, and let's just see what's going on here oh, look at those growing steadily love it um, a little bit of creosote and some charcoal which is fine but if we go there then we're going to get a lot more <laughs> although not if i'm not in the area of course that's the one downside to doing this so in fact let's just not play around there let's start looking at uh i'm just going to stick all the lignite in there for now i have been building up that in the background and uh I just want to go and have a look down here actually see what's so I think these are these should all be cherry 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 apple apple is not growing oh why are you not growing apple not growing not growing not growing not growing is it too cold at the moment I wonder I'm gonna guess that it is temperature 9 to 25 degrees rainfall yeah so the the rainfall in this area is too I think we should be all right what did it say for rainfall to 280 we should be all right for rainfall um, but yeah temperatures completely hopeless on that uh, hmm. these are all doing their thing lovely right where to go next let's start thinking hmm, let's start thinking about 
We really need to get more grapple. We need to start on the blast furnace, I think. That's probably where we should be going. Um, and I then start need to start thinking at some point about taking those trees down as well. But let's have a look at the blasty furnace. So we need a blast furnace brick. And again, I'm fairly certain. I suppose, do I have the immersive engineering book? I know it's a stupid question, but... Uh, I don't think I do. What? I don't know where I got those from either. Oh, I know where you can get the air from the evil wizards, although that's going to be a bit of a pain to pick up, isn't it? Hmm. Got some paper as well. Must have picked them up somewhere. Not entirely sure where. Doesn't matter. Um. Phew. Let's have a think. So a blast furnace brick is that no it's at least either well fairly certain that the blast furnace is just six. He says well, this is famous last words of course. So I definitely need twelve, twenty-four, thirty-six bricks. That should be easy. That should just be but it's not okay how do I make brickage clay into an ingot cast that is not a problem I can do that <laughs> still relatively easy regardless of things we've still got lots of little bits and pieces of stuff in there but that's fine I'm gonna whack the clay in hopefully each one of those will give me an ingot we'll find out so that's eight clay currently I suppose I ought to uh, how are you doing not got a huge amount of you top you off probably gonna to need to put some more of that in there then Yeah. Almost there. Do do do. Ingot cast. I'm gonna need. That's a hammer cast. Oh, that's a good point. I don't think I've got an ingot cast. Um. Bum. Right. How much gold have I got? Oh, it's rose gold. Damn it. Uh. Whew. I think I'm going to have to, well, I'm going to have to cast the four things of ingot of, I haven't got an ingot cast. Oh, that's, yeah, this, this is a problem. I've got two blocks, which is eight. Yeah, so it's because it's obviously a block of, I presume it's, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I need gold. <laughs> Uh, life never goes smoothly, does it? Always something trying to make your life a little bit more interesting than you wanted it to be before you started. Right. Let's put that charcoal away. So, let me have a look. What am I like for gold? I've got a little bit of that, 15, and I've got a little bit of this. But I happen to know where I've got gold to mine. So, oh, I need a, a brick of some description as well then. I don't suppose I've got any nether rack, do I? <laughs> Uses? No, you can't use those bricks. Huh. If I'd have grabbed some nether rack when I went to the nether, that would have probably been easy. But I can use that seared brick, that will do the trick, I think. The problem's going to be this gold is going to try and alloy with the copper. So let's pull that out of the way. Uh, is there anything else? I might as well get rid of the tin. Boop. Hmm. 
might as well get rid of that bit of rose gold. It's never going to be an ingot. And it's never going to cast either. Okay, fine. So, let's see what we get from that. <sighs> la la. Right, I'm going to just cut this gold up, try and get an ingot cast, and I'll be back in a second. All right, just done the final familiarization on the sheep. Um, I think they are done now. So, yeah, the next thing, well, I started to get the ingot hold going and I've used all the gold I have the last bit because I, I thought I got, I've got an I'm like yeah yeah I've got an ingot's worth it's it's two ingots you need two ingots of gold to make a mold so yeah now I could go with aluminium brass or brass as it would the uh, the brass that we use for these molds um but the problem is they use to make that you use copper and zinc and again we'll need two ingots worth that's not a problem but copper also alloys with tin zinc and gold to make rose gold so i can't put it in there because of that now we've got almost oh just so close just one nugget of gold away that is oh that is gutting i don't think i've got any any gold anywhere else. all right i'm gonna have to go and dig up some gold this game i tell you it's out to get me where is my gold all right i've, I've put me thing down that means there uh, must must be a gold mine somewhere around here. What did I do with it? I normally like it's normally fairly obvious. Hmm. Okay. Excuse me, Mister Spawner. Have you got any idea what I did with my gold mine? Oh, well, have you? I'm gonna. I'm going to waste a, a perfectly good squash. Right, I need to find my gold mine because I can't remember where it was. Oh, hello, more perfectly good squashes. <laughs> well, we'll have those while we're at it. If I can't even find, if I can't find my gold, you see, there's gold. Um, in fact, I could just grab one of those nuggets, but there must be gold mine somewhere around here I just can't see it how weird how bizarre even how odd where did I put it I'm sure it was kind of that way ish maybe I need to come up with a new way to highlight my mine entrances, don't I? That's assuming that this is actually the location where I have a gold mine, and that's not just gold. I can take you, your ten nugget, you're, you are a nugget, which would actually get me enough. But now I want to know why. I'll leave that one there. Or where this, where it is, it's it's going to bug me now. Oh man, I me. Mean, uh, uh, <laughs> this is bizarre. Have I been to that? I'm sorry, I'm just getting sidetracked here, but. There's a wizard's tower there, and also. Uh, some deer jerky. <laughs> ah, there's a. 
thingy over there as well. Let's, um, well. Might as well keep our food stocks up while we're out here, eh? Now, is this a good wizard or is it a baddie wizard? It's a very good question. I don't know the answer, but it's a good question. Do do. I'm not even sure where in the world this actually is in relation to. There's a lot of parrots here in relation to uh, things. It's a good wizard, okay. Means I can't nick his shells, of course, but. Well, you can't. Have, there's an awful lot of uh, nice fresh food out here as well. This is. Um, this is interesting. Right, let me go and have a chat with this fella. Should I have. Um, I should have plenty of tradables. Oh, man, 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 man. Uh, and while I'm at it, I might use his table. What's he got? Tome of the Arcana. Don't need to upgrade my wand. No, no, he really has not got much. Um, of course, I could. I could use some of that, and that, and that, and see what we can unlock. I also do need to borrow your table, mate. Right, let's see what you've... Come here. Four or ten for the advance. Well, we'll do four. And five. I'll have one of them. Um, oh, there we go. Unlocks. A slime. An advanced spell. Definitely. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll have that one. Uh, right, what else you got after slime? Leap. That's quite expensive for rupees, though. I don't think I've got four. I don't. Okay. End of trading sesh. Thank you. Bye bye. Let me out. See, I can get his bookshelves, but the moment I start breaking his tower, he gets hostile. Which, you know, is problematic. Right. I need to go back. We still need to get this thing. I've got enough gold to... Um, and I know there's wheat and stuff out there. I could go and grab all of the foods. But we're not desperate for food yet. So we'll just head back. And uh, I will see you when I get there. And we have a bronze bloody thing. A hoofer. Let me get... Can I cast myself some bronze ingots? I can. Let's get those out of the system for starters. To, I think there's four, and then we'll clear out the, the dregs in the usual fashion. Is that four? That's three, and that makes four. So we should have dregs, dregs, and dregs. And I can't do, uh, let's see if I can do a part pour of that. I can. Excellent. That will, that will suit me absolutely fine. That gets me a nice ingot. I get rid of the rose gold out of there, uh, and then we can do the bronze and the gold. Take those out. We have a nice clean smeltery ready for doing what I want to do now, which is of course clay. Now that should be, four blocks should make eight bricks, I believe. That should be, yes. And I said that I needed, let's get back to where I was, Blast Furnace. Um, I needed, I needed this many. This, this is the correct amount. It is painfully slow to smelt all of this. <laughs> um, but at least we can cast the bricks so you know we shouldn't grumble we have what we need to do the job and I'll just keep casting bricks until I have those done and 
dusted and then we need to start thinking about fire bricks and fire clay so we are going to need nine fire clay to start off with um, but we're also going to need a whole load to make the fire bricks because we're going to need four eight twelve twenty thirty six fire bricks and that is going to be painful and expensive <laughs> But once we have a blast furnace, then we should at least be able to use it. Now, this is not to be confused with this expensive piece of stuff, the um, Terra Firma Craft blast furnace, which I am desperately trying to avoid having to make um, because it's painful and so resource intensive, it is ludicrous. Um, even once you've made it, then the actual process of creating steel is is horrendous. We may not be able to avoid it. I have to accept that we might have to make it to get to a point where I can make a machine that will then allow me not to have to use that. And that kind of tends to be the idea with these technical terra firma craft packs that, you know, the... Um, it's the age old, you need to make make it the hard way to then automate it, make it the easy way. And and that's, that's kind of good, but, but I just hate that thing with a passion. <laughs> anyway, I will be back once I've got the bricks sorted. See you in a moment. All right, we've, um, we've ground some, some stuff. Dobbin here. No, that's not what I wanted you to do, Dobbin. Um, there we go. Dobbin here has done the work for me, obviously, because you actually get more if Dobbin does it. Um, Dobbin's a very good grinder. So, uh, yeah. And I really do need to get a name tag for this, this, this fella, because he really does need a name. I mean, it may be Dobbin, but, you know, he still needs a name. He doesn't alter the fact that a name is needed. Um, so, if I go into here... And I go and split this lot up nicely like so. That should give me 32 fire clay plus 6. That's a lot. Now that is that is a full stack of kaolite and a full stack of graphite. I haven't got a full stack of graphite left, but I do need to put in 9 fire clay in the, that that's the that's the mix and then I need to make fire bricks and if I look at that that took me 24 to make three so it's five for every three and I need four for each craft. So this is most definitely not going to be enough. I am going to have to put on my swimmers and go and get myself some more graphite because I'm now down to four and I've got 15 on fired fire bricks. They will not fire in there. They will fire in a blast furnace, <laughs> which I don't have. So they need to go into uh, here and be cooked all the way up to a nice temperature. <sighs> it's a pain in the bum. Right, Royal, but there you go. Let's stick those in, whack that in there. We'll let this get up to it's there, and then we'll, we'll, we'll you know, um, bellows it up to temperature, get those cooked. I just, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. Uh, glad I made a few. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, well, we shall see how that works. Now, you are... A good sandwich so we'll take a couple of those and we'll stick those in our food chute and uh, yeah I've got some of this 
to do. I also need to be mining and a harvest moon is rising, which means that a lot of things would grow faster. I don't think it would make a blind bit of difference to terra firma craft crops. But we have got a whole load of trees growing, look. So maybe it does make a difference. It looks like it's making a difference. Come on, you on the end there. Come on, you can do it. I think you're the last one. There we go. All trees are growing. Lovely. Fruit should become less of an issue this year. Um, anyway, I need to pump these up get them to brilliant white and keep them at brilliant white until they cook and then put the next 10 in and of course we can we can be crafting these as and when we are ready three and four gives me three and that's a third of the first level. <laughs> this is going to be painful. Um, however, I'm going to continue on with these and I shall be back shortly. Right, got the last five of that batch of 15. Um, which means that with putting two of those in, I now have a third of what I need. So I need to do that again. And probably again. What have I let myself in for? Okay, I need a little bit of that, and I would like to have some more because we're going to build those up. Tell me the recipe, thank you. Bricks and cobble. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and do, 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 one, two. That should do the trick, I believe. Uh, give me a crafting grid. Use and a. Yeah. You get me some of those, split them in half, leave half of them here because I don't need them. And let's go and uh, just situate those where they need to be situated. Oh, there's a star over there. I might go and grab it. I haven't grabbed a star all winter. It's just not been worth it with the snow. You just like slog, slog, slog. It's, it's such a pain in the bum. These. These are growing, and that is exactly what we needed. And I think, I'm fairly certain I left myself enough room for these to grow properly around everything, which is good. The orchard is on its way. Excellent. Now, the, the big question is, do I place the, do I come along here? Uh, with its two wide thing one and then place the thing on this side or do I place it here mm, I am tempted to do the the first one uh, for which I'm going to need to build up the uh, landscape a little bit well, I just think that will look moderately better than say well what we had planned plus I am not short of a little bit of dirt so yeah that's also a good point Boop. but we're getting there step by step bit by bit we are getting better equipped so that is going to be a helps if you can get that's going to be a post and that's going to be a post I don't think I'll need quite this much dirt but you never know I mean yeah I was probably optimistic overly optimistic there on how much dirt I needed but we have got the first layer down so that's um, a step in the right direction I am going to continue on with getting the next layer on top of that you have nearly finished again we've got a full thing of creosote that's the thing I've just run that through 
Um, and of course, we use you in the blast furnace fuel. And crush it for things. Coke dust, which I'm not entirely sure we. What does that create? What? What? Hmm? Hmm. Not seeing it. And then the art furnace, we can use it to make steel with coke dust and flux and iron. So that is obviously how we're going to get round ultimately the steel, but whether we're going to be able to do anything in the meantime is another question. I think I'm going to have to do the blast furnace. I don't think there's going to be any way around it. However, I need I need to uh, I need to change out for some planks or something. I need to come up with a way to harvest this. Oh, uh, we've got an invasion tonight! Yay! I need to come up with a way to harvest this um, graphite easier because it is not proving easy. Take those ironwood planks, in fact, take the maple, uh, the hickory planks. Because what we need to do is come up with a way to get down there and breathe. <laughs> if we're stood in air, we don't get the um, the mining underwater debuff, which, you know, there is a lot of <laughs> this debuff to be had. But as long as we're not stood underwater or if we are stood underwater we're stood underwater in such a way that we can uh, we can breathe such as say like if I can get you to oh no 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 I'm drowning I'm drowning I'm drowning oh my god you drown fast Right, we need to uh, come up with an alternative method, I think. We get back up. I need to basically get myself some air down here. There, perhaps. There, that will do us. I think if I can take that out a little bit now I'm unfortunately I'm swimming at the moment so this is going to be a bit slower than we need it to be but let's see how we go there we go that's exactly what we needed get over there make sure I'm not on the uh, the block there and when I when I do come to mine out those blocks that are stopping me moving into the ore vein um because you've got some there then uh, make sure you're under wood I think is probably the no that's not under wood idiot uh hmm how do I do this oh I know Let's take that out. Nope, that's definitely not what I wanted. <laughs> that's just drowning myself. Okay. Um, 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 um. Let's try this. Uh, right, um, cause that's how it's, this is the pain of getting this stuff underwater. And if it were anywhere else than my base area I would have gone and man 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 I need to eat <laughs> hmm <laughs> I would have just made a, a very unpleasant looking hole in the ground but because it's uh, next to my base area. I actually don't want to 
make an ugly pool of water that I can't work in. This is painful. But at least I can work down here. Mm, especially if if I did something like that. Because now I've actually got a nice little underwater hole. Unfortunately, it's still problematic. But um, Well, it's an invasion night, so I can't hang around down here all night. Um, but I can do, unless... Pain. Well, I can still stick that in there. It doesn't matter. That will get me that piece there. Um, what I can do is, is obviously leave this kind of in here and, and kind of work on it and get maybe get some supports. I think that will give me enough for another batch of, of graphite. So it's a step in the right direction. But we do have a rather ugly under underwater structure growing. As long as the top's fine, I'll always can always backfill it. That's not a problem. Anyway, oh, drink. Just just drink straight out of the lake. That's hygienic. Let's uh, let's get another batch of this stuff ready to run. Uh, we're not going to be able to complete it before the invasion starts, I don't think. But um, we can certainly go make a step in the right direction. Right, let's have a look. Where's me, me graphite there? So yeah, I only need another six to get the, another full batch. So that's not too bad. Uh, come on, Bobo, let's take you do some work. And um, I say the nice thing here is, is this guy is actually pretty swift when it comes to doing this this job. Come on. On you get and have that. In the meantime, I'll go dress for, dress for the evening's festivities. And it's sunset, so we'll leave the uh, horse. Well, not doing this thing because he's almost finished doing his thing, but uh, we've got the Kayla Knight. Um, what we need to find out is what our Soldiers and zombies. Okay, this is an easy one. I don't need to do anything for this. We can just more or less sit it out and uh, get a few bit of a little bit of experience and uh, maybe some rupees from it because they'll just come and burn themselves up on my um, magma moat. So all good. And here they come. There's one. There's two. Leave my horse alone. Oh, leave my horse alone, you. Um. Yeah, all right. Well, we. It's just a matter of time. I'll be back in a bit. All right. We've more or less dealt with that. This one of them left, uh, and he appears to be over at the wizard tower. Um. I'm feeling kind of brave. Well. Brave. feeling kind of well armed brave is probably not the word we're looking for um, but there should be one of them left over here now what I don't know is if he I think looking at that he is outside of the tower so as long as we keep our distance we should be okay I think um, Obviously, he's got that spring ability, which oh, he's there. Uh, run, 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 run. <laughs> Don't know why I was moving so damn slowly. And get bent. Right. That's it. Invasion over. 16 rupees. So that's good. In they go. And uh, let's have a drink. Because I'm thirsty. Oh, there's a little bit of 
actually be over there as well. Uh, let's go and make sure I don't waste not want not. I've got 26 levels now. And if I do do the enchanting and manage to get to the point where I can actually enchant, that's going to be pretty useful. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, all been well, because I set Bobo doing the last batch of graphite. Yep, he's finished. Um, boop, no. Let's go. We can put him away and uh, get another batch of these things going. So, I'll be back in a bit. Well, that's perfect. Um, I had three left over, which will take that down to five. And 20, take the divide up by four is five. Means we will get the out of this batch of, of cooking, which uh, I am not going to complain at. Um, it's certainly better than I was anticipating, which is another round of at least partial round. So uh, that's a thing. So, with that in mind, well, I've got nothing more to do here than cook a whole load of fire bricks and watch my garden grow. Have I got any bushes to plant while they are doing this? Is there anything I can be on with? Uh, I have got bushes. Let me uh, let me go and put those in. Well, my iron berries are looking a bit worse for the wear, but we splash. Let's just go and uh, do this lot. Yeah, I need to do something with this lake bottom once we've finished because it is looking unfortunate right now. But uh, yeah, I'll be back once I've got this bit done. Alright, I've hoed the farm area. <laughs> well, uh, while I was doing it while I was waiting for these. These are actually complete, but I wanted to get that finished because next episode we are going to plant. Um, I think it's about time. These guys have got 50 odd days left so we should see baby cows in about five or ten episodes give or take uh all depending on how long each episode takes of course this is a a key consideration i've uh, I've mucked around with the uh, bushes over there and kind of made the hedge a little bit less uniform and if i'm right and it is a three by three i'm almost certain it is uh this should be a crude blast furnace. It is a crude blast furnace, yes. Which means we're now in the position where we can have a look at the recipes. And the recipes will allow me to take a block of iron and make a block of immersive engineering steel. Um, I, I can make that by smelting iron. Um, so if I've got wrought iron, I can make... Is that a loophole? Let me just check something a second. You can be converted into nothing by crafting, but you will go into there and that, and it will go with lava apparently. Interesting. And that can be used to make So hang on, let me just, I'm trying to work this out here. If I get iron, melt it in the smeltery, put it as a block into here, get the cast um, thing, and we can cast terra firma craft steel ingots. So we might, we might just have a work around. Let's not get distracted. We can make iron, wrought iron will make pig iron, and wrought iron will make pig iron. We can make netherrack, not the last factory, really particularly useful. End stone using raw blue schist from Minecraft. Uh, that sounds a bit dubious, but we can do hematite into raw iron, and that can be made either one, two, four, or six, just as a question. You get seven from the hand quern. Ah, so this one is actually less efficient. 
and we get eight from the crusher which we are you know as far away from this as we can humanly be i think we will need more of you you will work as a fuel does it give me any indication of the tick requirement no but i'm sure we could get a block of iron together um to find out is there anything else i need to be aware of we can cook all of the clay stuff in there which is handy you can do that with lemonite and all of the other bits it's not the end of the world we can do that in the forge and at least not really that painful a job we can cook bricks in there though and we can cook bricks into nether brick clay into terracotta mud into that burns for 60 seconds 600 seconds 15 Oop, nether coal how on earth oh this is um hellfire dust this is your filtered hopper recipes isn't it um and if i remember rightly this has a chance of spawning a ghast <laughs> um hmm but we have it couple of screenshots and that's two of the same so on that note we're going to call this one an episode um next episode we are definitely going to go and get enough iron to make a block to see if we have got a um a skip step on that um i've got a whole load of wood i should probably pull that into my charcoal oven although having said that i can stick it into my into my coke oven can't I and it can become charcoal that works you know that that will do the trick quite nicely the problem I'm going to have is the amount of creosote that I end up with um now oh well that's a bit of a first world problem really isn't it anyway until next time thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you soon bye for now mm -hmm.